Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick. Today, we're going to draw a panda. So let's grab our pencils and let's draw two circles. One, two. Inside those circles, let's draw little dots. Now we're going to draw the outline around the eyes. Go all the way around and then connect it. Now inside that outline, we're going to draw some black area and just fill it in. So let's fill in this black. It doesn't have to be perfect. There could be little white spaces or make it sketchy. That's okay. Sometimes I like sketchy. But yeah, let's put some black in there. So it kind of looks like he's wearing a mask. All right, now that we have that, the next thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw a rounded upside down triangle that kind of has, looks like a triangle that's got round corners on it and that it's standing on its head. And whenever I draw bears or dogs or deers that have uh, wet noses, I like to give the illusion that light shining off of it. And the way we do that is we draw an oval shape that goes all the way around at the top. And then in that space all around the oval shape, we're going to fill that in with black. So let's just go all the way around the edges and fill that space in with black. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it could be sketchy, kind of like how I have it. So let's fill that in. And that gives him... The reason why we do this oval shape is because wet surfaces reflect light. And the nose of a panda bear is wet. So the, the oval shape represents light being reflected off that wet surface. So now that we have the nose and the eyes done, let's draw the outside of his head. And the outside of his head kind of looks like a marshmallow that's being smushed. So it's like a little wider at the bottom and a little skinnier at the top. And then we're going to draw two round ears on the sides. And just like we did with the nose and the eyes, we're going to fill that part in with black. So let's sketch that in. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just fill in best you can. There we go. Nice sketchy little panda. And then what we'll draw is his body, which is basically the same shape as his head. So let's do that shape. It's kind of like a big round belly. And then underneath his nose, we've got to give him a little mouth. So let's draw a little line that goes down and then two wide lines that go on the sides. Let's give him a little bit of a smile. Next, we're going to draw his arms. So let's take another line that comes down the side. And when we get down to the bottom, we're going to draw three little clover shapes. And we'll do that on both sides. We'll do another arm and one two, three little clover shapes. And just like we did with his ears and his nose and his eyes, we're going to fill this in with black. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be kind of sketchy. I like, I like how the lines sometimes show a little bit of white because it really looks like you're drawing when you do that. I like that look. But you can make it solid too if you want. So now that we've filled in the two arms with the black, we're going to do his feet. So I'll give him two little short lines and two more little short lines. And then we're going to round off the top and flatten out the bottom and come back. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll round off the top, flatten out the bottom, and then come back. And again, just like we did with his arms and his nose and his ears and his eyes, we're going to fill in his feet with black. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be sketchy. But make sure it looks like a little, there's a lot of black in there. And if you want, you could add some more details. I just put a little, like a little sketchy line behind him. And there, we just drew a panda bear. So, <clears throat> if you want to learn how to draw more animals, make sure you check your email box for the next lesson of Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick. 
Or you can check the archives out on Let's Draw Cartoons website and how to learn to draw lots more silly and fun characters. See you next time.